the landscape of different user interface frameworks for .NET desktop development offers many different choices. What's great for the ecosystem and experienced .NET developers can be challenging for novices and people coming from other technologies into the world of .NET development. The nine most common user interface frameworks for .NET desktop development are Windows Forms or WinForms, Windows Presentation Foundation WPF, Universal Windows Platform Apps UWP, WinUI 3, Xamarin, Xamarin Forms, .NET MAUI, Platform Uno, Avalonia UI and Blazor Hybrid. Today, I will provide you with the most fundamental information about each of those user interface frameworks to help you make a decision on what technology you want to explore. I phrased that last sentence very carefully. I want to make a hard suggestion on what's the best user interface framework or what you should choose for your next project. It all depends a lot on context. However, I want to help you as much as I can and share the information based on 15 plus years of experience with the .NET platform. WinForms has been around the longest from all the user interface frameworks discussed in this video. But be aware, the age doesn't tell you the truth in this case. Usually a 20 plus year old technology is considered outdated in software development. WinForms, however, is still in development and recently got a new release targeting the .NET 8 framework released in November 2023. While the Forms designer in Visual Studio allows for quick progress, making it a great tool for development, it often breaks when working on complex dialogues. Also, customization is limited. When it comes to implementing the logic controlling the user interface, WinForms offers code behind files that provide direct access to user interface controls. Code written like that can become hard to maintain in the long term. While WinForms is still a viable, actually a pretty good choice for building internal applications or configuration tools, I wouldn't use it for building public-facing applications anymore. Also, WinForms is limited to running on Windows only. Windows Presentation Foundation WPF is the successor of Microsoft's WinForms technology. It uses XAML instead of a visual designer to define user interfaces. Besides a component-oriented model and offering many customization options, it's a frequently used and widely adopted user interface framework. With MVVM and other code separation patterns, WPF is a viable choice for public-facing and growing applications. I have been using WPF for building applications for almost a decade. It has a steep learning curve and many things such as styling components can be done in multiple different ways. When using it in a team project, I highly suggest using the same technique to solve the same problem every time within the whole code base. One of the most prominent issues with WPF is its subpar performance. The rendering system is complex and allows for various hooks and different control styling approaches. I'm not familiar with what makes it feel slow, but I have seen many complex WPF applications with the typical WPF performance. If performance is very important to you and you want to implement complex user interfaces, maybe you want to consider something else than WPF. Similar to WinForms, WPF is also supported and runs on the latest .NET 8 version. And WPF also only runs on Windows. The Universal Windows platform, short UWP, uses WinRT interfaces to implement user interfaces and access system APIs. UWP apps offer a more modern approach to Windows app development compared to WPF and WinForms. The applications can be deployed to Windows PC, 
Xbox, HoloLens, Surface Hub and IoT devices using the Microsoft Store. Similar to WPF, UWP uses XAML to design the user interface. But be warned that there are differences between WPF XAML and UWP XAML. It's often referred to as different XAML flavors. UWP apps can not only be built using C Sharp or any other .NET programming language, you can also use JavaScript, HTML and C++ to build UWP applications. UWP apps run on Windows 10 and Windows 11 and they are not backward compatible to older Windows versions such as Windows 7 or 8. Even though UWP is still supported, in most cases you want to consider something else. .NET MAUI offers a cross-platform alternative and WPF is still a viable solution for developers familiar with WPF. WinUI 3 is the latest iteration of native Windows user interface controls. WinUI 2 is part of UWP and WinUI 3 is part of the Windows App SDK. Compared to WinForms or WPF, WinUI 3 is the most modern user interface implementation. There is built-in support for modern input such as Touch, Pen and Gamepad which are missing in the previously named technologies. WinUI 3 is backward compatible and runs on Windows only. It's a great choice if you want native look and feel of Windows applications and want to build on the most modern foundation. Xamarin and Xamarin Forms are widely adopted cross-platform mobile application development technologies, initially developed on Mono and later available on the .NET platform. Similar to WPF and UWP, it uses a XAML flavor to implement user interfaces. Starting as a separate company with the same name, Xamarin was acquired by Microsoft in 2016. While Microsoft initially continued Xamarin Forms for a few years, it has halted its further development and Xamarin Forms support will end on May 1st, 2024. Microsoft proclaims .NET MAUI as its successor. At the time of recording, .NET MAUI has a few known issues. Besides .NET MAUI, you might want to look at Avalonia UI or Platform Uno as an alternative to cross-platform mobile application development with .NET. MAUI stands for .NET Multi-Platform App UI. It allows building native cross-platform desktop and mobile apps using a single code base. It's developed and maintained by Microsoft and is its latest framework for building user interface based mobile and desktop applications. Besides Windows, Android and iOS, it also supports targeting macOS. It allows you to build mobile and desktop apps for Windows and Apple devices from a single code base, all written in C Sharp. .NET MAUI was first released in May 2020 based on .NET 6. It acts as the successor of Xamarin and Xamarin Forms, which both will be out of support in May 2024. It also adds the desktop capabilities from UWP, but it's not limited to Windows only. The lack of Linux support is one of the most discussed issues with the current state of .NET MAUI. Other issues include user interface controls that are missing in .NET MAUI, which were present in Xamarin Forms. The overall feedback I got from different people having tried .NET MAUI or are actively developing based on it say it's not ready yet. However, I'm a positive person and I know that Microsoft puts a lot of effort into implementing new user interface controls and improving other issues on .NET MAUI. So depending on my or the team's previous experience, I'd still consider .NET MAUI for future projects. Alternatives are Avalonia UI or Platform Uno, both which are not developed by Microsoft. 
Platform Uno is a cross-platform, open-source platform for building native, mobile, web, desktop and embedded apps quickly on a single code base. Platform Uno supports Windows 7, 10, 11, Linux and macOS for desktop development. For mobile applications, it supports iOS and Android. And you can build web applications using WebAssembly. Besides its strong cross-platform support, it supports all three major .NET development IDEs Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code and JetBrains Rider. You can implement user interfaces declaratively using XAML flavor or you can use C Sharp to imperatively define user interfaces. Platform Uno provides a Figma plugin that allows you to transform Figma designs into Platform Uno components in a split second. Platform Uno is one of my go-to solutions for building modern desktop applications on the .NET platform. It's also a viable choice if you want to implement a mobile application and .NET MAUI doesn't work or has issues in your situation. One of the unique features of Platform Uno when it comes to implementing desktop applications on .NET is Linux support, which is currently lacking on .NET MAUI at the time of recording. Under the hood, Platform Uno uses a native stack where possible. It uses WinUI for Windows, Skia for Linux and Xamarin for mobile applications, Android and iOS. Avalonia UI is an open source user interface framework for the .NET platform. It supports Windows 7 and newer, macOS, Linux, iOS, Android, Samsung Tizen and WebAssembly. Similar to Platform Uno, Avalonia UI is one of two solutions in this video that support Linux desktop applications. If you are interested in building applications for smartwatches, Samsung Tizen can be interesting to you and make a difference why you want to choose Avalonia UI over Platform Uno. However, I want to focus on desktop applications in this video. Avalonia UI also comes with support for Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code and JetBrains Rider. Avalonia UI uses XAML flavor for its user interface definition. Compared to Platform Uno, we cannot use C Sharp to imperatively declare user interfaces. Avalonia UI proclaims to be an ideal WPF successor, providing cross-platform capabilities and being very familiar for existing WPF developers. Avalonia UI focuses on a low-level Skia implementation as the base for each target platform. Instead of using WinUI or Xamarin, it focuses on a strong Skia-based implementation combined with platform-specific polyfills. It's one of the main technological differences between Avalonia UI and Platform Uno. According to many blog posts, of which I featured one in the video description below, Avalonia UI is simpler to get started for existing WPF developers compared to Platform Uno. Blazor Hybrid allows the integration of Blazor or Razor components into WPF, .NET MAUI and WinForms applications. For the integration of the Blazor components, those three technologies use a Blazor WebView component to integrate Blazor components into the host application. I'm generally speaking not a friend of using web frameworks for implementing desktop applications. For example, using Electron to build JavaScript-based desktop applications. However, using Blazor Hybrid might be a great option if you have existing Blazor components or an existing Blazor application. .NET offers many different choices for building .NET desktop applications. From well-established and widely used Windows-only solutions such as WinForms and WPF, to cross-platform approaches like Avalonia UI or Platform Uno. And of course, there are some in-betweens as mentioned in this video. 
As stated in the introduction of this video, I don't want to give an absolute recommendation on what to choose for your next project. It all depends on your existing code base and your previous experience with different .NET technologies. If you want to decide between using Avalonia UI or Platform Uno for your next project, I highly recommend trying them both and finding out what suits your situation best. Or I recommend reading the article on Co-Project by Nick Poliak that I linked in the video description. It's a very detailed blog post that goes into much more detail than covered in this video. However, I added my personal experience as well as information gathered from my professional network to make this video more than just a feature comparison between all the covered 9.NET desktop application frameworks. It's definitely a subjective video and I'd still drink a soda with you if you have the opposite opinion or another experience with one of the frameworks covered in this video. No matter what you choose for your next project, I wish you all the best and good luck. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about .NET development and I will see you in the next video.